twin flames versus soulmates. These are two very popular astrology, spiritual relationship buzzwords, and we're going to figure out what they exactly mean and how are they different, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my video. This is Mina, your favorite Pisces astrologer, back with another very romantic video for you about soulmates and twin flames. So cool. So today we're going to talk about the difference between these two words because their definitions are very similar. And oftentimes when I'm reading literature or even reading Reddit, like shit posts there or forum posts about people discussing their love life, soulmate and twin flame seems to be liberally used, like interchangeably, but they do have very subtle yet important difference to understand. And that's what we're going to break down today because I really want to arm you guys with information so you can figure out whether your current or a past love connection was a twin flame or a soulmate or maybe it was something else and I think this will help release and it will help heal help understand your current or past relationship and I always want to do that for you guys my amazing clients thank you for the 20k by the way so yeah today we're going to talk about the differences between soulmates and twin flames then i'm going to give you my professional and personal opinion about the two terms so make sure you watch the whole video and give this video a like because i want this video to get very popular because it will help a lot of people and i'm very passionate about helping people understand the romantic situation better using astrology so let's get into it i want to start today's video by getting a really solid definition of what a twin flame is. And I found a really good one at this website called wellplusgood.com by Dr. Harmony, who says, your twin flame is a fragment of you. This is a very powerful definition because when you're reading about twin flames, it is often discussed that a twin flame was one soul split in two, that you were one being in a past life and then you split and you took different paths but you keep on crashing into one another it's a familiar energy because it does resonate with you in a deeply personal way so automatically this definition is very dramatic it's very powerful so this person is going to make a very powerful impact on you that you can't rationally explain away because we can't empirically prove things like past lives or past connections karmic connections all of that but you know you feel like i've met this person before why does this person feel so familiar i have never met them this is so weird it's so intriguing it is so magical and then dr harmony goes on to say that your twin flames entrance creates a clear before and after in your life my people ask yourself this question did your person that you suspect is a twin flame, did they make this clear before and after? This will be a very good clue for you, very good hint for you when you're trying to figure out your connection. Um, so when I hear this, yeah, like this person just makes such a strong impression on you and you cannot explain it away. And it does create that clear before because you've never felt this before. And that clear after because you won't have it again. You have that fear, you know, of never experiencing this again. Which, speaking of fear, when I hear clear before and after, my astrology brain goes to the Hellraiser planets, Saturn and Pluto, which are very fear based and they will disrupt your life. They will disrupt your daily routine. They will shake you, especially if they are interacting, like if your loves. Pluto or Uranus is interacting with your personal love planets like the moon Venus or the other way around you can impact them or in transit like if you have transit Uranus in your seventh house or transit Pluto doing something to your Venus this can set the stage for a twin flame relationship and creates energetically that clear before it disrupts your normal you know you've never felt this type of magical woo-woo connection with someone and you can't imagine it any other way so yeah uranus chaos pure chaos but chaos with the intent of inventing new stuff in your life shaking up to create a new routine new possibilities opening the door for that pluto growth through destruction 
grow through pain, grow through, through loss. So this is all a theme of growth, but uncomfortable, like growth through adversity, tension, fighting, which, you know, twin flames can be a little steamy and they can really push you. And I don't mean that in like, yeah, push you. I mean, like, I mean it more so like you feel forced to change. This person is just going at you aggressively and which is so insulting intrinsically because you're one soul. You feel like they're a fragment of you. And this fragment of you part reminds me of the South Node, which is a dragon's tail, a super ancient, important part of our birth charts. It really is the seed of our soul and embodies the gifts that we've accumulated through all of life's incarnations and is a very stubborn psychological zone. We're stuck there. It embodies our past lives. So it is not uncommon to have a pa- to have South Node um, connections with your twin flame. And this is why they're so annoyingly familiar. They kind of keep you stuck, yet it's on and off. They also push you up to that North Node. North Node's a dragon's head. It's where we all want to be. It is one of the most fulfilling things someone can do is to reach their North Node. It is a big part of personal fulfillment and happiness in our birth chart Um, but yeah it is very common with twin flames that one twin will force the other to reach that north node beyond their will just like through aggression and so it is growth but it's not growth through anything positive it is just very forced and oftentimes when someone reaches that north node that's the twin that will leave the other one in the dust. So this flame goes out quite a lot. Twin flame relationships don't typically last. They are a very powerful coming together with the intention to grow, but both people do not always grow in the same timeline. And here's the Pluto element. It's like a lot of times that twin that gets left the other one's at the north node, the other one gets left in the south node. That south node person, if we think of Pluto, is going to probably reach that north node after the fact through going through the pain of losing this twin flame. And again, it's almost like a twin flame relationship, you know, causes a scarcity mindset because you, you know, fear-based planets like Pluto and Saturn, you fear that you'll never feel like this again. You'll never experience this magic, this sci-fi romance type of stuff so you just want to hold on hold on hold on and it's very common for even the twin that leaves the twin that's left behind both of them just like will obsessively pluto obsession obsessively hold on even if the relationship ended on a super toxic note even if the other person's awful to them actively even if the other person has clearly moved on and there's nothing to be gained by holding on they still will just hold on because they want that magic again and they just fear that they'll never have it without that specific twin so it can be very intense this is a very love hate um relationship you see yourself and the other person and you just get so annoyed and you just push the other person to so far that they grow away from you Um, But it is very passionate um, with Pluto involved and even with Uranus, you know, it shakes up your everyday mundane life and a lot of sexual tension, very sexually driven, a lot of this twin flame stuff, you know, flame the fire. So yeah, very, very intense relationship here. So let's go to a soulmate. So I have two definitions for soulmate. The first one is from Oxford which Oxford says that a soulmate is a person ideally suited to another as a close friend or a romantic partner. So automatically way more chill. So let's read the other definition I have. I also have Merriam-Webster's definition. A soulmate is a person who is perfectly suited to another in temperament. So yeah, this is so much more calm than a twin flame twin flame is like leo levels dramatic whereas soulmate is so chill like venus very venusian it's about adjusting so you can be each other's peace and 
seems to have an air of loving each other, you know, unconditionally, a little bit more supportive. But it's also good to note that soulmate also includes platonic friendships, which I do think, just my personal opinion, twin flames don't seem to be very platonic at all. Um, but hey, let me know in the comments if you've experienced a platonic or even a familial twin flame. I, I might be open to it, but I might be a little creeped out. But I think soulmate is definitely more global. Like it's lovers, it's friends, it's family. Um, two souls ideally suited to one another in temperament like you just click you get each other there's nothing to push you can just be you could just exist you don't want to suffer you want to create a supportive environment for you both to be the best version of yourself and you know we see that word ideally perfect what planet do we think of but neptune the most craziest of magical planets out there you know, it's opposite of Mercury, which is all about rational, things that can be empirically proven with numbers, um, quantifiable things. Neptune is like all up in space. It is la-la land. It is fairy dust. It is everything impossible. Um, and it's very romantic. You really do um, see your partner as an idol. Even if the other person is like, ew, like your boyfriend has a mullet or ew, your girlfriend has a David Bowie haircut. You're like, no, they're just perfect. You just have those Neptune glasses on and you're just like, yeah. And you're not really concerned with the imperfections. There's n not as much irritation as with Twin Flame where you just remind each other so much of one another and you just get under each other's skin. With the soulmate, it's just so much more accepting. Um, and, you know, when we think of the lighter version of Pluto, it's Jupiter. Both planets embody the theme of transformation and change, but Jupiter is like happy to grow, happy to learn, feeling fulfilled through growing. Um, it's a beautiful energy, and I do think that there is a Jupiterian effect with soulmates. Like you naturally want to embody that Neptunian ideal that that soulmate has of you. So you Jupiter levels grow. You're just very comfortable becoming the best version of yourself. And it's just such a happy feeling you get from that. Um, so it's very common, you know, and when we say the best version of yourself, we, I'm looking at the North Node. So while twin flames you could see a lot of you know conjunctions with the south node squares to the south node um, personal planets opposing someone's south node with the soulmate i would say you would see soft aspects to the north node the point of destiny the the happiest point in our chart so trines all that good stuff more easygoing connections definitely will be seen with soulmates um, you want to help each other head in that north node direction and it's like you're more of a team and i think that's the mate part being friends um and you know i had to be extra and i wanted to get a clear definition of soul to di dive deeper into this concept of soulmates because i'm so fascinated by it i found a good definition of soul on oxford where it says the soul is the spiritual or immaterial part of a human being or animal regarded as immortal how beautiful is that? So the link between twin flames and soulmates, my friends, is that they both can have that past life feeling like you've known each other. You always are crashing into one another. You can't escape each other um, with that immaterial energy that it talks about in the definition and immortal. Mike, it doesn't die. So this connection that you feel with your, your romantic familial platonic soulmates you find each other in every lifetime which is also very jupiter and neptune they're both very spiritual planets um and especially jupiter so happy spiritual like you're going to journey you're going to adventure to this person every single incarnation which i think is just it's very beautiful um so that's the connection they're just both very kind of magical woo-woo terms, spiritual, you know, terms, soulmate and twin flame. 
like you knew each other in the past. It's unexplainable. It's not rational. It's just magic. You know, with the Neptunian um, element to soulmate, like you see the good in your soulmate, you just don't want to see the bad at all. And you're not even, the bad is just like white noise. You don't even care. It could be a little bit, you know, not as realistic because, you know, humans are annoying, stinky. We get under each other's skin. So I think that twin flame is a little bit more, even though it's really intense and toxic, more real of a connection. Um, but soulmates, because of that mate part with the immaterial, immortal part of the soul, soul meaning, it's like, while soulmates are like a bit unrealistic, a little idealistic, I could totally see that you could stay in love. Like you can have a little bit more romantic staying power with a soulmate which is very beautiful because of that Neptune effect, like all the hard times in life, you still want to see your idol and your love. You still want to see them with rose colored glasses, even through the hard times. So although, yeah, a little unrealistic, kind of endearing because yeah, romantic staying power, whereas twin flame is very on and off with that Pluto and Uranus energy, um, very love hate, whereas soulmates just like, love 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 so i think it's just really beautiful and i know my 11th housers got all excited when i was like platonic friendships and soulmates it's okay yeah it's exciting i guess but yeah um both are very magical connections um very emotionally driven and unexplainable so let me give you my professional opinion on twin flames and soulmates so the first thing i want to say is that if we <laughs> these are very magical terms very emotional terms i think of my water people people who are heavy in the element of water this will resonate for you you'll actually be able to experience fully a soulmate or a twin flame relationship because your heart can go there into the irrational zone <laughs> and really be up in your feels um I think this is especially true for twin flames because not everyone wants that dramatic, nonsensical type of, co of a connection, unstable even. Water people totally will. Maybe, you know, some Leos too. You guys are, you know, dramatic. But yeah, my earth people, my Saturn heavy people, I can't imagine them even wanting a twin flame. Not that they can't experience it. I just don't think they would be interested they're just too grounded they're too realistic it's too unstable for a super earthy or saturn person um and air people just want to be all up in everything they're very amorphous and they want to experience a lot of people um but i do think that everyone including my earth and air people can experience soulmates because it's so platonic in nature well, it has that platonic edge and it's it's not it's the lesser of the emotional one even though it still has that neptune woo woo magic i don't think everyone can experience a twin flame or even wants to you know like there's so many types of relationships outside of these two guys um for example you know earth people they could just be like oh this person really makes sense for me you know they just fit my routine perfectly and they enhance my net worth and career like that can really get them hot and there's nothing wrong with that and you know air people don't want to be dragged down by this type of twin flame roller coaster well maybe the gemini's but i don't know you guys tell me but yeah i don't think i think it's more so for our water people these kind of woo woo terms there's so many different types of relationships and these two terms i think we in the spiritual community it's almost like there's a pressure like your love has to be a soulmate or a twin flame which that is not true at all we're all different and we all want different things romantically and i think it's rem it's good to remember that so we can really open our minds to everyone's unique desires and experiences and romance um so yeah that's what i think and I also you know as a professional astrologer it's not like the twin flame stuff really breaks me as a water person because my clients who come with me come at me with that term it's always a very painful connection they've had with someone and i can literally feel the pain reading their emails and through our interactions and 
yeah, you guys, it's not always fun and romance. Like those downs are really low and the loss you feel from that person is awful. And my people trying to let go of a twin flame connection, I really hope and pray you have the strength to finally let go of that Plutonian type of obsession because if you don't let go, you can never grow to your new possibility. You never know what's around the corner in life. You could have a soulmate waiting for you or even something else, who knows, and that's so exciting. Um, as for my personal opinion, I have to be a little special and I kind of think it's romantic thinking of the idea of a twin flame, someone you've struggled with and you've had a very intense emotional connection with turning into a soulmate, someone who can unconditionally accept you and you both idolize one another. Like, I think that would just be the best feeling, but let me know. Am I being an unrealistic Pisces? Probably so. Let me know if you've experienced that magic. I would love to read about it. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for the 20K. I, I appreciate it more than you know. I love making these videos. I love interacting with you. It is my passion. However, I am a Pisces. Life can get me down, but I always swim back upstream. I always get re-motivated, and I am super on fire to work on my channel. So thank you for your continued support. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Those are the best two free ways to help me. Email me if you want a sinistry reading for your twin flame or soulmate. I'm always down for that. And for my air and earth people, have you ever experienced twin flames or soulmates? Do you even care about these concepts? And if you do, where's the water? Where's the Pluto? Where's the Neptune in your chart? I'm dying to know. I want to hear all of your experiences. What do you think about twin flames and soulmates? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye.